busy, according to legend, which English king burned some cakes that he was supposed to be tending? King Winslow's? King Alfred. <laughs> Ricky and Melvin. In the 2002 James Bond film Die Another Day, who emerges dripping wet from the sea in an alluring orange bikini? Dave Berry or Halle Berry? Halle Berry. Correct. David, in the solar system, which planet shares its name with the wire in a modern domestic electric cable that is coloured green and yellow? Pass. Earth. Terry, in newspapers, what C is the name of a type of puzzle in which a grid of interlocking squares is filled with words that are deduced from clues? Crossword. Correct. Christian. On its launch in 1967, the first song to be heard on Radio 1 was a single by the move called Flowers in the What? Window. Rain. Janice, in geography, the name of which European <laughs> country begins with the same four letters as the word portcullis? Portugal. Correct. Dave. On the internet, Ricky and Melvin host a series of podcasts on MySpace with what title? The Hookup or the Booty Call? Hookup. Correct. Pete. In pop music, an operatic description of singers such as Donna Summer and Gloria Gaynor is the alliterative term disco what? Diva. Correct. Susie. Bank. In the measurement of time, what is the term for a period of ten years, especially... <laughs> Time's up. You won £2,500. So, who copes with questions like Diddy Hamilton copes with high shelves? <laughs> who thinks Speed Garage is a branch of quick fit? <laughs> I don't understand that. It's time to vote off the weakest link. According to the statistics, Terry is the strongest link. Christian is the weakest link, but will the other players consider that when casting their votes? Voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Susie. Pete. I think you're a legend, Pete. Christian. Pete. Christian. Christian sorry. Christian. Pete. Janice. Hello. Can you just move over towards Dave? Why? Because I asked you to. Just put me on. No, not that much. <laughs> that outfit's made for radio, isn't it? Made for radio? Yeah. Don't you like it? Did it come from your cleaning job? <laughs> I rather like it, and I don't care about what yeah. you think. Sort of Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Overall look. And what about yours? When's that going to be finished? Miss <laughs> <laughs> that. So what time's your show? I do midnight till three, radio two, five nights a week. For the uh, insomniac truckers? Um, variety of people, truckers, students. I mean, the whole load of people who keep the nation going and get it ready for you when you get up. And why do you want to get rid of the legendary Pete? He is a legend, um, but Albert Square, and I just thought, OK, he got one wrong, and I couldn't think of anybody else. Although you got one wrong, didn't you? But He I always thought... gets one wrong. <laughs> How are you going, Terry? Fine, thank you very much. Yeah. What are you doing at the moment? Uh, I'm working for Manchester United Television, and also I've got a series on ITV called It's My Life. Oh, you're back on television? No, I've been doing that for the last seven years. Oh, have you? <laughs> Just go out of bed early, don't you? Why did you come second to Ulrika, then? I don't know. Do you know what? Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Yeah. <laughs> and tell us what happened in the house. Well, nothing. That's why I was very good at it. And why are you getting rid of Pete? Well, t to be honest with you, um, I know David got one, one wrong, but I wouldn't have got his right. Um, well, you wouldn't expect Susie to understand oh, about English history. Hurry up, history. hurry up. He <laughs> took too long to answer his questions, and then and when he didn't know, rather than just the saying... The interesting Pat's thing on. is you've done quite well up to now, haven't you? Up to now. Yeah. I still got voted off, though, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, why is it people don't like you, <laughs> Political. There's only me and Janice, who are northerners here. Oh, and you as well, but you're not kind of on the voting side. <laughs> so all these sort of Londoners sticking together. <laughs> You don't think it's anything to do with your extremely irritating accent? Do you? No. <laughs> no, I don't, because I haven't got one. I'm Mancunian, not a Scouser. <laughs> so, Pete, you've still got a fine head of hair. Thank you. Yeah. You could lend some to Diddy, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> 
I could, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to do have it. have the dandruff as well. <laughs> you're going to do it again, aren't you? What? Leave halfway through the show. I look like it. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the last time you did that? Uh, you tell me. Didn't you do it on LBC? Yes, didn't I did. Didn't you walk out? No, I didn't actually walk out. The actual true story was that I'd been given an extra hour. I went up to the loo and uh, I was just going to go out of the door and they said, where are you going? I said, I'm, I'm going home. They said, you've got another hour to do. So I had to go back up and finish the programme. I was looking forward to going home, too. <laughs> Pete, you are the weak sleep. I Goodbye. know. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Master. This is the end of the line. I think the winner will probably be Terry. I think he's very bright, and I think he's definitely the one that will win. The highlight was working with people I like, and uh, me, seeing Anne and Robinson again, and I, I love the programme, and it's a big thrill to be on it. I was very pleased to be asked. Round three, in the back, £3,100. Another ten seconds off the time. We'll start the strongest link from the last round. That's Terry. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Terry, according to the old stereotype, Frenchmen riding bicycles used to come over to the UK from Brittany selling which vegetables? Onions. Correct. Christian, in TV, what is the name of the brother of Janice Long, who famously wore only a pith helmet to present the 2000 game show entitled Naked Jungle? Keith Chegwin. Correct. Janice, in the anatomy of birds, what's the general term for the type of structure that consists of a quill and a shaft and a vein? A feather. Correct. Dave. In tourism, what eye is the name of the third largest island in the Balearics group that is well known for its dance clubs and music venues? I be for Anne. Correct. Susie, in pastimes, which word follows treasure and precedes the thimble to give the names of two different party games? Hunt. Correct. Bank. Ricky and Melvin, in entertainment, the name of which Norwegian pop group was also a catchphrase used by the spoof TV and radio presenter Alan Partridge? Abba? 